Hey everyone, it's Doug Trebo number two here, and welcome to my very first deck profile. Um, this is my standard deck that I like to play at my local tournament. It's not too much of a competitive deck, but who knows, I might make a couple changes to it um, at some point, and I will let you guys know how I go with it. Um, you know, feel free to use this deck yourselves if you want to have a go with it, if you got any, you know, questions about how it works or if you've got any suggestions about what I could use to make it a bit better I'd love to hear it leave them in the comment section below just down there uh, also feel free to subscribe to our channel we're going to be making a couple more videos anyway enough with the uh, introductions let's get into the deck profile this is a Tapu Koko deck that I'm running I really like Tapu Koko I think it's got a good potential and uh, yeah so let's get into it so we run three copies of Tapu Koko I know what you're saying, why only three, where's the fourth one? Um, I like running three, I feel it's a bit more consistent. I know it sounds a bit weird that your main attacker is you're only running three, but trust me, three Cocos is really good for this deck. Four, I just feel is too much. So, and I got my three different ones, my three different variants, so there you go. We also run three copies of Tapu Lele. I know Tapu Lele is a very expensive card, so if you want to use this deck, maybe only run two and then chuck in a fourth Coco, but if you've got the money or the luck to pull three Leles, run your three uh, Leles. All right, up next is our second sort of strategy. We run three copies of Pikachu. This is the uh, McDonald's Pikachu from 2017. I just happen to have three lying around. If you don't have this Pikachu, um, you know, feel free to use Burning Shadows, Evolutions, Generations. Uh, I think there's one from Breakthrough or Breakpoint, I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure there's four Pikachus in rotation, so feel free to use anyone. I like this one because it's got 70 HP and all the others only have 60. Um, three for 50 for a basic isn't too bad, and it doesn't really matter where your energy goes on this deck, you can load up one Pokemon. As soon as you put a Coco down, you can transfer them all. So I get three Pikachus. We also run two copies of Raichu with that Evo Shock ability. This is uh, sort of our stalling strategy. Sometimes you just cannot get the energy that you need for a Coco and you just need to stall another turn or two. Evo Shock's fantastic. Paralysis is probably one of the best effects you can give. And being able to guarantee Paralysis every turn is just fantastic. Uh, we do run the Evolution Spray in this set to keep those Evo Shocks going, but We'll get to the trainers as we get to them. Also, three for a 130 isn't too terrible. And like I said, it doesn't really matter where your energy goes. And finally, we run one Orangaroo for support and instructability is really the main reason. Um, I always find that it's just handy to be able to draw three cards, especially late game, whenever your opponent plays N, being able to at least have three can uh, really help you out. So that's the Pokemon, so 12 Pokemon, pretty standard. Um, so, yeah, so we'll move on to the items next. So we run four copies of Ultra Ball, pretty standard. Discarding two for any. Use these for uh, Coco, Lele, and Raichu. Don't really use these for uh, Orangaroo or Pikachu, just because there's another card in the deck that can search them out. But if you use that, then obviously use the Ultra Ball as you uh, see fit. We run Four copies of Max Elixir, pretty standard. This is our energy acceleration. This can pretty much guarantee us if we get lucky enough, we can get a Coco pretty much on our first turn and start hitting to 130 straight out of the you know straight out of the game. And yep, yeah, so there's four copies of that. We run three copies of the evolution strength. This is basically how we keep our Elo shot going. This guarantees us at least uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think about six. Times we can paralyze six or seven, I'm not sure, I can't count tonight. But uh, yeah, so I run the old school looking ones because I think they're cool, but you know, use whatever. Uh, two copies of Floatstone, pretty standard, being able to for a free switch. I don't really end up using these, I might actually take them out and start running um, a couple more. Uh, a couple more Fighting Fury belts or even that fourth Coco, but for now I like running the two. I don't tend to use it, but you know, it's a handy card to have. Speaking of Fighting Fury, we run two. Two Fighting Fury belts. 
pretty much half uh, considering putting in the third one just because how useful it is to Coco's, but um, you know, it's entirely up to you. We don't run Choice Band in this set just because I think Finding Furious is a little better, so I'll probably end up chucking in a third one. So, and finally, oh no, not finally, sorry, uh, two experience shares. Uh, we need to keep our energy going. That's one problem this deck suffers. If we lose energy, then we're going to struggle. So we need to at least keep two on the board. Getting those experience shares on your bench, uh, right shoes or leleys, can really uh, help you win the game. We run two of those. We also run two field blowers, pretty standard in uh, decks these days. Being able to you know, get rid of any card that we need. Handy card. Uh, one super rod. This is really our only way to get cards back from the discard pile. I might end up just running a rescue stretcher, but getting those energies back, super rod is just a little better. Run one of those, and finally maybe one one nest ball. This is the card I'm really considering taking out. Uh, I know I've said that a lot, but this one in particular, this is really only useful for Rangaroo. Maybe Pikachu, but other than that, I wouldn't run anything. Don't use this for Lele's, obviously, because Wonder Tag doesn't work, and Coco's Arrow Trail doesn't work if you put them onto the bench from the deck and you keep them in your hand. So yeah, so those are our items. Uh, up next, I guess we'll go to the supporters. Whoops. Four Professor Sycamore, again standard. Four Sycamores are really able to explain why. Uh, we run 3N. Um, I don't like running 4N, I think 3 is a good amount, but if you want to run 4, you know, please do. Uh, we run 3 Guzmas, again pretty standard. Don't really need to explain too much. Um, two Acarolas, this is really for picking up our Cocos, and this is even another way to pick up Raichus to get that ever shot going again. Um, but really just using these for Cocos is the main strategy. And finally we run one Shauna. Shauna's a decent card to run late game, especially if you've been N. Getting that Shauna, getting five cards. If you run out of Sycamores, shuffling your hand for five could be pretty useful, but I haven't found much luck with it, so again, this might need to get taken out. So that's all our supporters. Not a big supporter pool, but pretty, pretty standard, I feel. Um, we've also run two copies of Eighth of Paradise. I would run four, but I feel like because Tapu Gulu is a real big competitor against this deck, running four is just really going to hinder us. Decidueye is really popular as well, so you know, I'm not going to play. Obviously, I'm not going to play Aether against the Sidui, and I don't know. To be honest, I don't really like Stadium cards, but I understand they're useful, and, you know, so. I run two, but if you run a one, yeah, if you want to run four, go ahead. And finally, for our energy, we just run 12 basic lightning energy. Um, pretty much every Pokemon we have can use lightning energy. Really, the only thing we can't use this entire deck, I think, is uh, Tapu Pure GX, which is fine, you're not even going to be using this GX, you're going to be using Pokemon, so it doesn't really matter. You know, Colorless, Lightning Colorless, Lightning Colorless, Colorless, and uh, Lightning Rune So yeah, so that's it, that's my uh, Tapu Koko deck. I really do enjoy playing this deck, it is a lot of fun, but it does struggle in, uh, against stronger decks, Metagross. Um, Gardevoir, Alone with Nine Tails are like three main decks that this one struggles against, and they were all pretty big decks. Um, does decently well against Grandpa, I do find, um, especially against Garbodor. But if you can, you gotta be really careful with Garbodor, obviously, because of locked out ability, so you need to be knocking out things pretty quick. And that's the one thing that I like about Turbo decks, to just get going pretty much in turn two or three while your opponent's still trying to set up for a big evolution line, but it does do pretty well against Grandpa, so if that's a deck that you're really struggling against, maybe give this one a try and take it out as you see fit. So, um, yeah, thanks for checking out my video, you guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I will leave a uh, deck list down in the description, and, um, yeah, see you later. Bye.